Welcome back to Civilization 4. I had a lot of optimism in the last episode, but I've got even more so now. But the Apollo program for starters, and I forgot about one good thing about the this. Since you she is co at eight growth, which means it can go up four more population. <laughs> I wish I had this early game because I really struggled with that. It's now at plus ten now. I can now have this. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy with that. So now that's at 8 per turn. That can go up higher. And as, as I said before, that's at 6.10 to go now. And now I'm about to add to that. That one's actually a higher rate. That's 175 by itself. 61,000. I wonder if it actually had the corporation to begin with. No, China have that. Wait, is China are China winning that? Yeah, they are actually. No, Carthage is. Actually, I'm not in as good spot as I thought I was. Hang on. Which city is Hadramentum? Met him. And it's because I have enough spy points against him, I can look at this. 647. He's at 90%. That's why. He's, he's winning this currently. Plastic's at 428. Hmm. I'm friends with Hannibal. Unfortunately, I may have to um, damage that. So I'm not as optimistic as I was, because someone's already got the same idea. That's bad. Maybe I'm gonna to have to ask for that from somebody else. So I think that's improved this situation right now. So now that's at eight per turn now. That's at 207, so that's 526 turns left on that. Yeah, it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. I mean that's the I've only got 507 turns to go. I may even decide to ignore that and just take, put it in this. No, I can't do it again. I can't give a city to the same corporation twice. Doesn't work that way. But I was up to risk about my chances of winning, but not so much now because Hannibal has really slowed up on purpose. And the moment I'm able declare war on him, we'll get people to declare war on him, I will do. And that's why I'm preparing my troops. I need a battleship, a couple of battleship in preparation for this. Right, so I need to know exactly how many turns he's got until he's made it. 58 turns, this is bad. 203 turns thankfully. Thankfully it's still a long way off. It's 90% I have research on that normally. It's 90% of all the money that you get. Because his money is at 10%. So it's at 96 instead of 0. And then he gets all the bonuses on top that he's built all over the course of the game. What's the other city? Utica. It's right there. 485. That's actually lower than the other one. So I've got 200 turns. I can turn this around. Which he's going at 90%. That's why the computers are better, because I can't get that research rate high. It really bothers me. I get banks and stuff built. I feel like that's the best thing to do. Right, what's going on down there? Six per turn, yep, and it's just that one and then those three workshops left. So uranium, that gives me a little extra money too. Where is that? I need to click on it, I'm trying to. There you go. I don't think it's adjusted the hammers, it's just added money. Yep, that's gone well. That city's going well. Gain more great people points probably because more cities are, have got a higher population than city spots they can chew on and work on. Yep, well, fighters are nearly done. Might as well get the infantry with no experience at all going going off and doing his own thing. Because that's been stuck at 15 for forever. <laughs> and I can get them all doing great artists. Especially that one's going to grow. Yep. 
I can have the four great artists too, so if I can... The growth is going, and it will be at 8 per turn until these three spots are covered on the map, which it's going to do automatically anyway. Yeah, only only difference is money, so I can I can take that action. Hmm. No, I think I'll leave everything else in that city. Put that on the hill. Dykes finally being sorted there. Every every city has a, like one fighter because I organised that. Next turn I'll upgrade that because they do need. Something better than the riflemen defending the city there, in case. I mean, I've got four islands, really, outside of my main one. I mean, I've got an island there, island there, main bit there, island there, island there, island there, island there, and one off there. Which one's that? So he's got a 90% culture, that's at 78 per turn, and he's only got a theatre there. So annoying. But now I can sort the uh, academy out because I finally took in the right way, you blithering idiot. Doofus. Because <laughs> last episode, I had it in Cusco. I was gonna. I took it in I'm thinking it would be the best place to do it. And it turns out Cusco was the best place for it all along. I'm glad I went after it in The episodes of war, it, it damaged my economy a lot. But at the end of the day, I knew it was a wise. I knew I had to. Inca would be such a big threat, and I would probably be out of the game if I hadn't. So, in hindsight, probably the right play is just when, when I, if I should have pulled out earlier in the game. So I kind of kept on going because of that city with the ho with the founding a religion. He doesn't have the holy building there. That would have improved that a lot, because that's at 12%. It's annoying. So that's at 29. I've done well with that. I mean, tactically, that's it's gone in, it as well as I was hoping that would go. You saw it in like, I don't know, 789? Episode 789 or something? Rightfully asking to join the Incan Empire, forget it. I suppose I can have one of them? Yeah, I can have that as a... It's fine. City defence. Giving them different ones to the one that before, which had hills. How many more do I have? Okay, it's just two left. <laughs> I knew that. Carry is nearly finished. See? Oh no, it can't even have. Oh my goodness me. I had the Academy Academy the whole time, so now I've just been wasting this. Right. What's the next highest ranked city for research? Okay, the highest down there, Maastricht, the capital itself. I have completely wasted turns here. Um, take it over there, because that's where it would be waiting and ready for the transport. Actually, take up there, why not? Next turn, we can just meet up there. There you go. <sighs> I'm so good at observing things. <laughs> oh, how that will, how that puts me back in all areas of life. It's just so annoying. Diplomatic victory. I'm unlikely to get that. But do I declare war on Hannibal? It's not an option. So you're not taking that off because all hell cuts loose at that point. I literally do not... There is literally no control of the game if, if it gets to that. I know you guys haven't seen that yet, but... 
Now to butter somebody up. Need to butter somebody up just on the basis. Okay, I didn't take too much of my time. Next turn. Hey, there's another transport there. I knew that. I can stay there. Next turn, he can sort him. I've got a marine. So he's in position. I can get another gunship finally. <laughs> because you know how well I planned this out. Rotterdam. The odd one out on this island. <laughs> just, uh, oh my. <laughs> that hack is also the odd one out because it was had to be placed in such a poor part of the map. But because I planned it out so well. If I somehow win by culture, it would have been a master stroke to put it there. Because I said early game, you can't always get the most ideal spots on the map to put things. No, forget it. See, I'm closest, but still only halfway. Only Tugakara and Frederick out of my non out of non vassals are actually voting for me. Unfortunately, being the United Nations leader is not giving me too many options. And I could easily just have another vassal or something. But there, it's just two cities, and there it's only two cities. I'm not gaining much. And I could get in New York, Dorestad, Deventer. I don't know if Groningen will count. I need to have a look. No, it would only do the three, it doesn't grant that one. I could give, but that's that's my life, I need to keep that for sure. I mean, I can grant independence to seven areas of land. I can even grant independence to Amsterdam. Yeah, I'm not doing that, not even for a moment. Right, last carrier. The last three fighters going on board. And so I will sort that now. It needs a fighter for itself. Is there one being queued up? It is. Yes. Because it's one of the few areas that has no fighters at all. See, I could construct enemy co. I just ripped my money even more. I haven't been that damaged by the uh, uh, spreading of the corporation. It's roughly stayed there, so. It's 50%. Well, hang on. Aluminium Co., what does that one do? I just need to check that. I just have to. Does a lot for research. And I could spend at most places, to be honest. Don't think it's worth it. Building the academy, it didn't make any difference. So all my time being annoyed about the great scientist, it made not enough difference there. So I just, so you guys being nervous with me, it ended up not mattering. Battleships, I need battleships as part of my navy fleet. So join them up. So that's it. 175 per turn with 502 turns to go. Growth will finally go up. That, as the saying goes, is awesome. That's just gone up another 100. 314 turns to go and that's with the culture at 0%. I mean Hannibal will take 200 turns at 90%, so if I can carry plastics along, I mean, I need to get my spy points going too because she's got refrigeration. Yeah, Elizabeth and Isabella had all the research. I'm going to get plastics done first 
if I decide to change anything. Yeah, I'm probably not going to even attempt the space race. Workshop destroyed, of course. Um, sort that. So rebuild it. Because I like workshops. Now, as I was saying, the first game time is just never build workshops ever. Don't understand their use then. Attack some marines. Transports. And they might have to go after Hannibal. I mean, I need to see, are there any other nations close by on the culture thing? I can't check that one. I don't have enough spy points to... Yeah, the only reason I can do it to Hannibal is because I've got all the points been going to him. And he was an early rival for me, so... Yeah, perhaps don't need that many anymore. I can have it down to five. Yeah, because he has no technology to steal, so... And he can investigate City at 16,000, so it's going to be ages before... It overtakes whatever number I have. 43,000, 32,000. That's 32,000. Right, what's the lowest one there? Liverpool, 24,000. That's low, but not low enough. I may, I may attempt to do that anyway, just as a precaution. Tax and Marine, the only one I have is currently sitting there. Where is it? Where is the attack submarine? Trying to figure out where it is. It's currently... It's either bridging the gap or... Is in the gap. Yeah, it's in the city itself. Okay. S build a spy. I know that means that that one takes longer. Only by three turns, but then take it to Liverpool and just build it up, because people, yeah, Elizabeth's going for the spaceship. That we have no doubt. I could just, and if she wins, I could just attack her, and then she only has like four cities. She messed herself up. Oh, the population's gone up. There we go. Beautiful. It's even closer to getting those great artists going in that city. That is beautiful. How are the other two doing? It's 18 turns before I can make one. I can have seven, so that's that's good. I will only really be able to put four in, but that's that's helpful. I've already got one going. How many can I have? Oh, only four, darn it. That's so annoying. At least a great person rate goes up for more than anything else. Plus three for each one, so it would be plus 12 great person rate increase. That's... Very, very, very good. Good a few tanks too. Tanks and battleships. Need to prepare for war. That's quite my culture is also being prepared as well. One with a draw a chance, because why not? Build a railroad because there aren't that many of them. Okay. Where was there? Colosseum built there? Yeah, it must have been. Because that's been improved, which was relatively important because, yeah, I've slowed it down deliberately. Might as well have it at great artist points, to be honest. Since I'm on a border at there, after all. In, in this map, you don't really have to worry about other people's borders too often. I've had to worry about them there, but it's, gl it's gradually got easier because I've I haven't been challenged there. Still at 37%, it's still dominated by them, 28%, so I still get the uh, thing. Is that minus 26? Why do I not have a courthouse? Might as well do that next, and I'll get some extra hammers in 25 turns. Those two cities haven't really been worth it. Could have easily let them have the other cities. What the heck? I lost a bit of money, but it seemed to be the wisest idea. So extra first strike and gunpowder units. Why it took me so long to have that? 
Yeah, Probably should not have continued to build that. Um, oh, hang on. Wall Street, that all helps so much now. Why have I not done this? And that will improve it too. I, I mean, probably 10 turns ago, I was trying to get the Wall Street sorted and haven't been able to do it. I may even have a couple more. Wait. Do any of these places have an airport? They do not. Does Utrecht have one? Well, it's been being built, so I can probably have a couple of Sid Sushi executives to go after that. Maybe to get the great people rate going up in a couple of places. I think I'll just go for two because they didn't they didn't really cost me over here, but it might might do an Inca's territory. So I'm trying not to take too many risks. Trying to be very careful indeed. Anything that helps these little things, university, that's good. Well, I might as well do that. As long as I build a couple of military men there as well. Infantry, why not have three there? Yeah, it already has 50% withdrawal chance to make it 80%. It's brilliant. And if you haven't seen my uh, bonus video, which I put in every Civ 4 playlist, but if it has all the withdrawal bonuses you can have in the game, it goes up to 110%, which isn't possible, so it removes. Once you select three of them, it removes the other option, so you can't get it. And that, I just find that hilarious every time. I mean, it's well designed after a while. Liverpool's over there too, it's complete waste. And Newcastle's not a great spot either. It has the fish, so it's not too bad. I think it's kept afloat just by the fact it's got a... Um, hmm, uh, corporation. Which one does it have? Yeah. Yeah, that's good for culture as well. Unfortunately, a city can only have one. One corporation. So, that's why the top three citizens, I'm always looking, right, can I achieve a culture victory? I always give my top three cities of culture the culture bonuses, like the civilised jewellers like that one and that great merchant one. The others can have anything else that would benefit. Well, that one, that one would, work, would work too, actually. Yeah, common tree Spanish, so the Spanish must have invaded them at some point. Yeah, that that used to be Elizabeth would would probably have won if she'd actually been careful as, as to protecting her cities. I mean you can look at any little detail and think, wow, this player could have won by now, this player could have won by now. I could have won by now. But for this, and any any really good player of Civ should comment right now at the end of this, it's near the end of this episode now. And comment below where I could have, what I could have changed to be able to have won. I could still win, to be fair. By the time you guys see this, the, the game will be over. But it's, it's going to be intriguing. Anyone who's better at Civ 4, just comment below. Because I am interested in this. I only have the two world wonders there in Utrecht, Oracle and Hollywood. I, I've got two national wonders there. I need a great lighthouse there, but that's useful. The hack doesn't have one. It has two national ones. Well, it has the national one in Kangumaya. And Rotterdam has nothing. So, get to plastics and perhaps try and get... I need to I need to improve some aspects right now. Yeah, I'm keeping battleships. That's a very important thing for me to be currently doing. Well, I had optimism at the start of the episode, and then optimism was quite quite quickly with what Hannibal is doing. I need to see what how he's doing right now to finish this episode, like I did at the start. 
right there is where it's going well. 644, so it's only 47 turns until that's at Legendary Culture. Remember, to win, you need three at Legendary Culture. And the other two are struggling a little bit in comparison. 178 turns, 187 turns. 187 turns is how much time I have. Well, Isabel's actually declaring one on Hannibal. Well, there you go. And it doesn't. Yeah, he's been attacked by Elizabeth already. Elizabeth has attacked already. Master of Isabella. When Isabella's the one that's got most of her cities. How did that work? I don't remember what has happened in the game, but how did that happen? Well, if Hannibal, Elizabeth, if you continue to do this, I could end up winning this because he's got lots of promotions there. A potential game changer right here. This game's getting tense. I have no idea who's winning this at all. Space race culture. I really don't know at the moment. We'll see you guys next episode.